Today I'm going to show you exactly how I make my delicious, crunchy, wholesome, filling potato waffles. They're so good. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -ba -ba. What's up potato squad? My name is Janine the potato queen. Am I? Am I the potato queen? We're all potato queens. So let's all be potato queens together and kings and um, let's cook some potato waffles together. And if you have the Potato Reset book, either the digital copy or the print, they're the same thing. It's just one is physical and one is digital. Um, if you go to um, the crispy hash browns and at the bottom, there is a grill option, electric grill option for these. It's pretty much the same thing, except I find this is a little tip here. If you have a waffle maker or a panini press that does not have removable plates, that the cook time is only 20 minutes, which I'll show you today. If you have something with removable plates, the cook time is going to increase to 30 to 40 minutes. Just keep that in mind. If you are shopping for one, get one that does not have removable plates. If you like to save time, Yes, it might take a little more effort to clean, but I find this is actually really easy to clean. Appliances like this, you just have to wipe them clean. Watch the video until the end for more information on cleaning. As long as you let them cook long enough that they can come unstuck from the machine. Otherwise, yes, you're gonna have an ugly mess to clean up. So don't be using those mushy sweet potatoes to make a, um, to try to make a potato waffle because it is just gonna kind of like melt to the machine, it's gonna take forever to dry out. It's the drying out that causes it to lift from the machine and makes it feel like a miracle when you go to pull it out and it's so satisfying. All right, so let's get started. Oh, and before we do that, people were asking me which waffle maker I have. This is the Breville. I mistakenly told some people online that I have the Cuisinart because honestly, they look exactly the same. So I'm gonna find the exact model that I have and I'll link it down below in the comments. Hi, Ellie, you wanna go for a walk? And, and in the description box as well. So, without further ado, let's get started. Here I have some leftover baked potatoes that have been stored in the fridge overnight. I recommend either you pressure cook or bake your potatoes ahead of time and refrigerate overnight for best results. And then you're gonna need a grater or you could use a food processor. And if you want to add spices or other vegetables, I recommend grating into a bowl. Otherwise, if you're not going to be adding any spices, you could just go ahead and grate right on top of your waffle maker. For this waffle maker, I set the time to 19 minutes and 59 seconds. If you have removable plates, plan on it taking 30 to 40 minutes. Just make sure that there's no steam coming out before you open it up to check it. Turn this off. It's got the spatula here. Look at that. They're coming out really nice. Junebug, Penny, yeah. Just a little pro tip for easier cleanup. Wash this off right away. Usually if you do it right away, all you need to do is just rinse it off. It makes it so much easier because if you let it dry on, it's really hard to clean. Give it a little wipe, opposite direction of the blade. I like to take this little pipe cleaner that's bendable uh, and just kind of get the crusties out of here. And this is a really good example of this is a potato waffle that kind of went wrong. They were too moist for this machine. I uh, overcooked them in the pressure cooker so they were just really wet. So they ended up kind of burning on the outside and sticking to the waffle maker a little bit. So 
but it's still fairly easy to clean. Just get all the crusties out. And then, yeah, what I like to do is just kind of bend it and if I want to get in the crevices here or on these little Typically it's not this messy, <laughs> but I wanted to show you kind of a, this isn't a worst case scenario, but you know, this is not my typical cleaning for this thing. All right, and then what I do is get just a damp cloth, all the crispies here. And anything that I can't reach, I'll just go back in and all that noise is, this machine is, the waffle maker's laying on some crunchy bits. It's really not that bad for cleaning. You don't want to use a cloth that you like because it is going to get a little dirty. And not too bad. There's probably a little piece, a few pieces in here I could just wipe out. But um, yeah, just took a couple minutes just to kind of get this clean. And yeah, it's not too bad.